Let's learn how to put down a text box, and there are two ways we can do it. Uh, we start out the same for both. We're going to go up to the tools. We're going to click on the text tool, and I can come here, and I can drag and drop a box, and then I can type in that box. So that's one way. Now I'm going to click off of that box for a moment, go back to the text tool. The other thing I can do is come over here and just set my cursor where I want the text to be. And instead of dragging and, dragging and dropping, I could just click and start typing. All right, what's the difference between these two techniques? What I'll point out is for this one, you'll notice this blue box around it is tight. There's no spaces there. And this box, text box, has a lot of space around it. And this will only become a problem in the future if you want to align something. For instance, if you want to have a set of words where they're all aligned, um, you want them all centered aligned. And because this box is so big, Figma is going to center the center of this box as opposed to the center of your word. Um, so. But we can fix this. What we can do, uh, if I, let me click off for a second, click back on, and if I come to this, if I come to a corner and I double click on it, then we now have the nice same tight box, which is what we want. All right, what do we do if we want to change the font? This is very small. So let me go ahead and click in here, and I come over to the right hand menu here and you'll notice we have text commands. This is to choose the font, and so I can choose a different font, and let's say I'm going to choose Inkcut Antica, so I click on that. Then I can change the size. Two things I can do, one is I can choose one of these pre-selected sizes if I'd like. Or if I come in here and I click on these numbers, I can then type in the number I want that wasn't available in that pre-selected size. And also, little pro tip, if you hover towards the left of the font size, you'll see this little double arrow. If you click on that and then you can slide, now that's, if this doesn't work for you right now, that's okay, you're just getting used to Figma, but uh, eventually that's something that could help you. You can also change the fill here, and we'll talk more about this in a different tutorial, but I could click and have a red font. So those are a few different things to know about getting a text box. You should now go ahead and make a text box and write the word home, choose a font, change the size of the font, and give it a fill.